Hey, have you heard how many Papa Sun chairs we sold today? I heard we sold four. Woohoo! I five. That's a total sales of seven hundred sixteen dollars. How did you get that figure? Sounds way too high to me. I get. Hold on, let me see. One, two, three, four, one hundred seventy-nine dollars. Hmm. Elephants must not be very good at math. Wait just a minute. Oh wait. Hey. I just thought of something. What accounting method do you use? I work in buying and planning, so I use cost. I work in the store, so I use retail. Let me show you. Hey, where's my pen? <clears throat> Allow me to demonstrate. So, the total retail price for the base, the frame, and cushion is one hundred seventy-nine dollars. You multiply that by four, which is the total number of chairs we've sold, and voila! You have your total sales. Can I try? Here's how I figure it. You're using the total retail price, but I use the cost of making the chair, which is about forty-four seventy-five. So, I take the total cost and multiply it by the total number of units, which comes out to a hundred and seventy-nine dollars. So we're both right. Yep, we just start at different points. I look at the cost of the chairs. And I look at the average selling price. That way, I can track whether we cover the cost of the merchandise we buy, while you focus on store performance. Rainbow sock monkey, yeah! Oh, jeez, don't start that again.